Hi there. Let's take a few minutes and review how to use the inverse norm command. So assuming that we are working with normally distributed data, I would like to find the observations such that 20% of observations are at or below its value. So I'm looking for a specific value within the distribution, a specific x value, and I'm given the percentile. So we can use the inverse norm command to find the z-score that corresponds to this percentile. So to the calculator, second button, variables button. Again, here are the distributions available to us on the calculator. I'm going to press the down arrow and select inverse norm and press enter. So the input to this command is the area. So you would type in your area, or in this case your percentile, which is 20%. Again, you don't have to specify the mean or the standard deviation. That's what the 0 and the 1 represent. That's automatically set to 0 and 1 by the calculator. And since we want a z-score back, 0 and 1 are indeed the means we want. So I'll press enter. That brings the command to the home screen. I'll press enter again. And what is returned to me is the z-score that corresponds to the 20th percentile. That's approximately negative 0.84. So now everything else needs to be done by hand. So remember how z-scores are calculated. They are the observation, take away the mean, of, in this case, 7, divide by the standard deviation, in this case, of 2.1. But understand, the inverse norm command just gave us the z-score that we are interested in. This is where the negative 0.84 will go. This is the z-score that corresponds to the 20th percentile. So in order to solve for the observation that I'm interested in, that's the value of x, all I need to do is solve this equation. So I'm hoping that you remember this. I can write my negative 0.84 over 1 and I can cross multiply this. So ultimately I'm taking my z-score times the standard deviation and that's equal to x minus 7. So I can add 7 to both sides and that will give me then the observation which is 5.236. And we are done. So an observation of 5.236, this is the observation at the 20th percentile. This is the observation such that 20% of observations are at or below this value. So understand, this also represents something to think about. This, this also represents the observation where 80% of observations are above this value of 5.2. 3, 6 in our specific normal distribution. So something to think about when you are working with a question where you are trying to work backwards and find an observation that corresponds to a particular percentage under the normal distribution. Something to think about. The inverse norm command always works with percentiles. So if you want the score such that 80% of observations are above it, then the first thing that you need to think about, that's not phrased in terms of a percentile. You need to rephrase that in terms of a percentile. That means that 20% of observations are at or below its value. The input for the inverse norm command is the percentile. In this case, it was the 0.20. Hope this has been helpful.